Within this lesson, we'll work with decimal multiplication by multi-digit whole numbers. For this first problem we'll look at, we have 3.15, that's 3 and 15 hundredths, times 206. You'll notice that we have a three-digit whole number that we are multiplying our decimal by, and we're going to estimate it first with an approximation, 3.15. That's close to 3 there, times 200, which will equal 600. So our estimated product is 600. For our exact answer, let's think about 315 hundredths times 206. We'll start with the 6 there. With that standard algorithm, 6 times 5 is 30, 0 regroup the 3, 6 times 1 is 6 plus 3 is 9, and 6 times 3 is 18. Cross out the 3. Next I would work with this 0 right here, except when we multiply it, we of course would get 0, so we can move on to the 2 here, which is worth 200. That's why I will place two zeros. 2 times 5 is 10, 0 regroup a 1. 2 times 1 is 2, plus 1 is 3, and 2 times 3 is 6. Carefully adding those together, I get 64,890, but that would be hundreds. So that equals 648.90. And so that estimate of 600 also allows me and helps me to place that decimal point there. 648.90 is my product for 3.15 times 206. Here we have another problem where it's asking not only for the estimate, but the problem also asks for the exact answer. So we'll go ahead and set that up. For our estimate, 5 and 17 hundredths times 283, that's close to 5, times, go to 300, you can also go to 280, I know it'll take me a little bit to go ahead and figure that out for that estimate, however my estimate will be closer than if I went to 300. 5 times 2 is 10, plus 4 is 14, so our estimate is 1,400, that'll help me place my decimal point later on. It also helps me check my solution. So 5.17, that's 5 and 17 hundredths, or thinking about another way, that's also equal to 517 hundredths, right? So really I should be just looking at 517 times 283, and then I could go ahead and convert from the hundredths back over to um, a decimal number there. 3 times 7 is 21. 1 regroup the 2. 3 times 1 is 3. Plus 2 is 5. And 3 times 5 is 15. Cross out the 2. I'll place a 0 to deal with the 8. 8 times 7 is 56. 6 regroup the 5. 8 times 1 is 8. Plus 5 is 13. 3 regroup the 1. And 8 times 5 is 40. Plus 1 is 41. Place two zeros when working with that two there. Make sure to cross out my regroups. Two times seven is fourteen. Four regroup the one. Two times one is two plus one is three. And two times five is ten. And then I will work to carefully add those together. That's 146,311. But remember that was hundredths. So my actual answer should be 1,463.11. That's 1,463 and 11 hundredths, which is reasonable with my 1,400 as my estimate. And in this case here, you'll notice that both of the factors actually got rounded down. That's why my estimate is lower than my actual answer. Here's a problem for you to try.
go ahead and pause the video and do your work. And started the work a little bit. 5 times 7 is 35, plus 1 is 36, 6 regroup for 3. 5 times 4 is 20, plus 3 is 23. Cross out the regroups, place a 0. That'd be 473 there, and place two zeros to work with that 2. 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 7 is 14, 4 regroup the 1, 2 times 4 is 8, plus 1 is 9, and then I'll carefully add those together. Did you remember to place your decimal point? Remember you would be dealing with hundreds here. If you did do an estimate, could have been 5 times 200, which would be 1,000, and then so your estimate for the product would be, could have been 1,000, helping you to place that decimal point, also helping you to check that answer. Make sure that you place that decimal point because you were dealing with hundreds there, multiplying by a whole number. Here's another problem. Let's set this up a different way. We have 2.06 times 402. That would be 206 hundredths times 402. Let's go ahead and set this up using um, an area model. 206 could be broken down into 200 plus 6. 402 would be broken down into 2 plus 400. 2 times 200 is 400. 2 times 6 is 12. 200 times 400 would be 4 zeros, and then 2 times 4 is 8. And then 400 times 6 is 2400. 80,000 plus 2400 would be 82,400. And then adding across for 400 plus 12 is 412. Adding those two together, I would get 82,812. And then we're dealing with hundredths, so it should be 828.12. Thinking about this for our approximation, this is close to 2. That's close to 400. So our approximation would be 800, which is, does look reasonable with our exact answer there. Using a standard algorithm, 206 times 402 over here, 2, 1, 1, 4, and that does match our partial product over here. Cross out the 1. Working with this 4, that's worth 400, place two zeros. 4 times 6 is 24, 4 regroup the 2, 4 times 0 is 0, plus 2 is 2, and 4 times 2 is 8. And that partial product also matches the partial product I had figured out in my area model. Carefully adding those to get, together, I would get 820, 82,812, that's hundredths, and that's why I can place my decimal point right there. Okay, it's your turn. Go ahead and work this problem out using the standard algorithm and area model. See if your partial products match up. We can start with an approximation here of 8 times 200. So your approximate answer should be close to 1,600, it looks like. Pause the video and set up the problem. Do your work. And so for the standard algorithm, 4 times 7 is 28, 8 regroup a 2, 4 times 8 is 32, plus 2 is 34, 4 regroup a 3, 4 times 7 is 28, plus 3 is 31. I have that first partial product. Place two zeros to work with that 2 because it's worth 200. 2 times 7 is 14, 4 regroup a 1. 2 times 8 is 16, plus 1 is 17, 7 regroup a 1. And 2 times 7 is 14, plus 1 is 15. 
and I have that other partial product. If I carefully add them together, I would have my product here. And then remember, I'm dealing with hundreds. And then so I should have hundreds because I'm multiplying by a whole number there. In setting up my area model, I'll break down 787 to begin with. That breaks down into 70, 80, and 7. Remember, that's hundreds. And I am multiplying by 204, which I'll break down into 4 plus 200. And I'll work out my numbers here. That's 2,800. That's 4 times 700. 4 times 80 is 320. And 4 times 7 is 28. Adding those together, 2,800 plus 320 is 3,120 plus 28 is 3,148, which matches my partial product from before. 700 times 200, that's four zeros. 7 times 2 is 14, so that's 140,000. 80 times 200, yeah, 16, followed by three zeros, 16,000. And 200 times 700 is 1,400. Adding those together, we get 140, so that would be 156,000, and then 157,400. And that matches up my other partial product there. Adding those together, I know that I'm a little tight on room here. And we'll look at those very carefully so I do not misadd them. I really should have rewritten it out. Remember that's 160,548 hundreds. So it's 1605.48. Compare your own answer to what we have here and remember to write it out completely. So we have what we've got here, and we've shown our work.